Good morning. In five minutes, the entry doors will close and the lobby cleared of all guests. Doors will reopen following the invocation. Any guests outside should now enter the auditorium and find their seats. Thank you.
Greetings. We are hosting audience members from all over the world. Due to COVID-19 variants and for the health and safety of those in attendance today, we ask that you wear a mask that covers your nose and chin while indoors. Masks are available in the lobby. Please silence your electronic devices. The commencement ceremony will begin in 10 minutes. Distinguished, distinguished guests.
distinguished Distinguished guests, please take your seats and silence your electronic devices. The commencement ceremony will begin momentarily. Distinguished guests, the class of 2022.
Please be seated. Nine colleges, two campuses come together to share joy and gratitude for the class of 2022. President Farias Eisner, an interim Provost Crone. This has been a difficult two years, but within and coming out of this negative experience is a very positive. This, this class, amongst all of our colleges, watched healthcare change over the last three to five years, and now they're becoming part of the change and, and will be part of uh, shaping where healthcare goes in the future. They embody communication transparency, trust, integrity, character, and all of that is wrapped into humanism and empathy. One of the beautiful things about Western U is all of the colleges have always stood together shoulder to shoulder. It's a common theme that runs through our students and through the university. We already stood by each other from discipline to discipline, from college to college. I think that's always been one of the very special things about Western U and our Western U community. Our Western U family. Hey, hey, American Science is class of 2022. Oh, great. What's the theme? Jump in, you'll figure it out. Dean Satterfield, the College of Podiatric Medicine. You can't put off uh, until tomorrow what you really want, or you'll be on the other end of, of 20 or 30 years saying, gee, I wish I should, I, and I should have done X. Don't let there be Xs in your life. Don't give up on your life's goals and plans, uh, or else medicine will just eat you alive, and you wanna retain who you are. Dean Nelson, the College of Veterinary Medicine. And we're in total admiration that they made it through challenges that no other class has ever had to make it through. Our challenge now is to recapture that culture as alumni, and, and we're looking forward to that. Never back up. Remember that you are tomorrow's leaders. Live up to that expectation. the College of Graduate Nursing. The class of 2022 is one of the most adaptable classes that I've seen so far. This class has witnessed some of the most remarkable healthcare challenges of any class that I've seen in years. Some of the challenges that they've had are to take care of some of the sickest patients we've had in decades. And they've done it with grace, with style, and with competence. Our big thing is teamness and connectiveness. I think that the class of 2022 really learned how important each class member is to each other. Dean Prabhu, the College of Pharmacy. And a class of 20 and 2020 and class 2021 sadly did not walk across the stage to pick their diploma up, so I'm very grateful that we are in that situation where we can actually see them face to face and give them their highest honor. Suddenly from the sidelines, uh, um, my student pops up and he's getting ready to administer the shot uh, to me. And I was overjoyed to see that. I'm excited for the class of 2022 because they are going out into the world as competent healthcare professionals representing Western U. They made it. Dean Friedrichsen, 
the College of Dental Medicine. The class of 2022 has exhibited amazing resilience and patience as they've gone through the entire clinical education during the pandemic. Usually we like things fairly regimented and consistent from patient to patient, from procedure to procedure. And we learned that, you know, as far as the protocols and how we approach things, we had to be flexible in order to be able to continue to provide the patient care that we wanted to. Forward together. Thank them for their resilience and for their patience. Acting Dean Henson, the Graduate College of Biomedical Sciences. It's easy to slip into a mindset that I call the imposter syndrome. This idea that great things, exciting futures are for somebody else. And the reality is that um, you've already demonstrated that you belong. You've already demonstrated that you have a future. These students have shown that you cannot easily extinguish a fighting spirit. As long as that spirit continues to endure, um, I think that we have a lot to look forward to in society if, if, if we have more people out there uh, like the class of 2022. This class has shown great heart and great perseverance, uh, and I'm, I couldn't be happier for all of them. Acting Dean Conan, the College of Osteopathic Medicine of the Pacific and Comp Northwest. Time is the most valuable asset that you can have, and that what you need to understand that even though you'll be working extremely hard, long hours in residency. You need to start making time for yourself, for your family and your friends. You'll be spending many long hours treating patients, saving lives in the next three to five years of your training. Your time must be split between work and have a great work-life balance. This class, because of what they've had to endure, are going to be much stronger and able to adapt in the future for any adversity that is brought before them. Dean Schilling, the College of Health Sciences. The, the class 22, their futures are so bright. They've learned how to pivot. They've learned how to be innovative and they are prepared for whatever medicine um, or disease presents and they have the skill set by which to attack that with veracity, hope, and knowledge. I am thankful to this class for making every one of us better educators, making us better humans, and making us better as a profession for what they have brought out in all of us, what they have asked of us, and what they have shown us has helped all of us grow every day. I would leave this class with the three things that I asked them to capture when they came, and that is to remain resilient, to remain reflective, and to remain resourceful. And above all, always remain humble. We are here to serve. Hoppy, the College of Optometry. Class of 2022, you helped us learn. You helped us imagine a new way of delivering the highest quality of education. And I want to thank you for your participation as an equal partner in getting through this challenging time together. The class of 2022 has an amazingly bright future. They have the best of the high-tech world, the high-touch world, and the Western new core values behind them for science, caring, and humanism. I would like to thank you from the bottom of my heart for sticking with us, being our partners in navigating this time together to make sure that you've achieved your personal and professional dreams. Thank you.
what they've accomplished is unprecedented. And these letters reflect and embody the commitment that they have to the university, to their patients, to their families, to their careers, to their future. And we are honored to be a part of it. President Farias Eisner, this is our letter. Yes. For me, E stands for Everyone Matters. I love that. And the empathy which they themselves embody. To the future. To the future and Godspeed. We invite our guests to please rise now to meet the people who have helped to guide your loved one on their journey through Western U. The faculty, administration, board of trustees, deans, provost, and president.
Distinguished guests, the president of Western University of Health Sciences, Dr. Robin Farias Eisner. For those who are able, please remain standing for our national anthem and the invocation that follows. Here to sing the national anthem is Dr. Tricia J. Tahara Stoller, Western U Doctor of Pharmacy alumni, class of 2020. So proudly we hand at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glow the bombs bursting in a gay proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say Spangled banner and wave for the land of the free. And the Leading us today in the invocation is Sean Rowan, Assistant Dean of Student Affairs for the College of Dental Medicine. Let us pray. Dear God, the beneficent, the merciful, the Son, the Spirit, and great creator of the universe and all it contains, we humbly acknowledge you. Each day you bless us to experience your being through the wonderment and beauty of nature and the elegance of art and science. We give thanks for your presence on this special day. Today we have gathered to celebrate the accomplishments of the graduates of the class of 2022. As they receive their degrees and leave the comfort of the nest to move on to new journeys. We thank you for Western University of Health Sciences in the Colleges of Dental Medicine and Pharmacy for the blessing each has been to its students and the community. We thank you for the college family that has been created over these years. We thank you for the opportunity you have given each graduate to learn. Be with them as they forge their way through life. Grant them the wisdom to walk by faith and approach each day with love, gratitude, humility, hope, and grace. We invoke your blessings upon the graduates. Grant them the strength and the perseverance needed to face each day. May they use the knowledge and skills they have acquired with confidence and determination. May moments of discouragement or fear be chased away by confidence, knowledge, and understanding. May their future be filled with great adventures and wonderful discoveries. May your wisdom and understanding echo within their spirit. May each graduate proceed into the world as a strong leader, friend, and caring provider. I pray we not only see this as an end, as the end, 
for the culmination of a remarkable experience. Let us also see this as a new beginning. May we all remember that as long as we live and breathe, our work is not finished. As each day is a new beginning, let us use our time and resources wisely and seek to make each day better than the day before. Amen. Please be seated. Distinguished guests, the chair of the Board of Trustees of Western University of Health Sciences, Ms. Elizabeth Zamora. Thank you to Tricia Tahara Stoller and Sean Rowan for that wonderful opening to our ceremony today. It is my honor and pleasure to be with you today and represent the Western U Board of Trustees. Welcome to my fellow board members, Western U administrators, graduates, families, faculty, staff, and distinguished guests. Today is your day, and you should all feel so proud that together we are sending these prepared healthcare providers into the world to do their best work yet. Each Western U class has a fascinating group personality of its own. Here is a snapshot of this year's graduating class. Of the 213 graduates of the two colleges here today, there are 141 women and 77 men. Yeah. <laughs> the youngest is age 24 and the oldest is age 47. They come from they come from 20 California counties, 16 US states, and five countries. Many have already had interesting prior careers. For example, there is an architect, a makeup artist, and a civil engineer. These classes represent the diversity of our Western U culture. When our graduates have all received their diplomas, the total number of Western U alumni from all programs will be 19,714. It is a proud day indeed. And now let me offer some words of inspiration to our graduates. Today you receive your degrees after dedicating years to your studies and to your professions. As you celebrate with fellow students, families, and your Western U family today, consider this day to be a significant reflection point a time to appreciate your past years of demanding and arduous work that brought you to this preeminent day of accomplishment and recognition. And as you look to the past, so you will look to the future. Graduation represents the end of your studies. Commencement is the beginning of something new. So today, we celebrate your educational achievement and we celebrate your commencement as you begin the important work of the rest of your lives. I hope you take with you foundational elements of your Western U education. Foundational elements such as compassion, caring, empathy, and always putting the patient first. Take with you the quest to be lifelong learners, to treat all patients with equity, and let humanism as well as science guide your decisions and your actions. You are Western U graduates destined to provide transformative health care and create healthy communities wherever life takes you. Congratulations. And now I would like to introduce Western U's president, Dr. Robin Farias Eisner. The Western U Board of Trustees appointed Dr. Fadia Eisner as Western U's third president, effective March 1st of this year. He came to us from Creighton University in Omaha, where he was director of the Henry Lynch Comprehensive Cancer Research Center and chief academic officer in the School of Medicine. He was also dean of women's health and professor and chairman of the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology at Creighton's School of Medicine. Prior to his appointment at Creighton, 
and after graduating from medical school, Dr. Farias Eisner was recruited to the University of Illinois Emergency Medicine Residency Training Program with a focus on surgical critical care. Recognizing his love for education, the University of Illinois offered him a faculty position to train future resident physicians in emergency medicine and critical care. UCLA recognized Dr. Farias Eisner's unique clinical skills in critical care medicine and recruited him to continue training in the greatly needed area of women's health. In 1990, Dr. Farias Eisner completed residency training in obstetrics and gynecology at UCLA. And in 1992, he completed a fellowship in surgical oncology for women at UCLA. Dr. Fadia Eisner then spent the next 30 years working in leadership positions at UCLA to improve the health of women through the establishment of successful delivery models for high quality patient care and high level cancer research. Over the past decade, he has served as the principal investigator for a highly impactful NIH grant to eliminate healthcare disparities in cancer cohorts in underserved populations in Los Angeles. The Farias Eisner Laboratory at UCLA, and later the Farias Eisner Laboratory at Creighton University, achieved numerous innovative discoveries that proved to be highly clinically important, including the commercialization of biomarkers for the early diagnosis of ovarian cancer, and the discovery of novel and innovative anti-cancer drugs. His unique medical education at the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland established his commitment to the concept of physical diagnosis, which is solidly based in the humanistic tradition dating back to the founding of the medical school in 1784, drawing him closely to the osteopathic tenets. President Farias Eisner has a decorated academic pedigree that includes a Bachelor of Science in Biochemistry from UCLA, a medical doctorate degree from the Royal College of Surgeons in Dublin, Ireland, a PhD in molecular biology from the Molecular Biology Institute at UCLA, and an MBA from Pepperdine University. He is board certified in emergency medicine, obstetrics and gynecology, and gynecologic oncology. Dr. Farias Eisner is professor emeritus at the University of California and professor at Creighton University School of Medicine. President and Mrs. Farias Eisner have a home in Pomona and a home in Calabasas. At their family home in Calabasas, they raised five children, and they now have three grandchildren, one who has just joined us on April 25th. Dr. Farias Eisner takes the lead at a transformative time in healthcare and a transformational time at Western U. Please give a warm welcome to President Robin Farias Eisner. Thank you. Thank you so much, Chair Zamora. To members of the class of 2022, faculty, honored guests, trustees, administration, alumni, family, and friends, welcome to the 41st Annual Commencement Exercises for Western University of Health Sciences. I am absolutely thrilled and honored to be with you today in person, and I emphasize in person. It's a great honor. Congratulations to you all. This year's commencement theme, as you've seen, is gratitude. I would like to take a moment to express appreciation to those who make this wonderful event possible, notably the remarkable work of our university commencement committee under the leadership of Dr. Beverly Guidry, Senior Vice President for University Student Affairs. The support of Director Torio Thomas and her exceptional special events team. The Departments of Info Informational Technology, Facilities, Communications, Public Affairs, and the Campus Bookstore. It's definitely a team effort. Special mention is due to Greg Christie and the excellent production crew at Bright Ideas. Thank you, and please join me in a sincere thank you to have made this possible. Thank you. It is humbling and an honor, pleasure, and privilege for me to participate for the first time 
in these coveted commencement exercises at Western U. Servant leadership is my philosophy. As your new president, my focus has been to effectively serve the constituents of our five branches of university government, all of whom are represented here, esteemed student body, our faculty, our staff, deans, administrators, our board of trustees. Equally important is to serve and engage with our communities in Pomona and in Lebanon. My first day as university president was March 1st of this year, and I am so grateful to the students, the faculty, the deans, the staff, administrators, and board of trustees for the extraordinary progress that we have made together in such a short period of time. And I thank you, the graduating students. As you launch your career, we will continue to honor you. We will launch a successful com comprehensive capital campaign. We will build upon the generous Hetherington Foundation donations of 150 acres of land in Lebanon coupled with the foundation's anchoring $22.5 million. We will turn our focus to create revenue diversity, independence from student tuition, and we will set our sights on the best establishment as we can of scholarships and lowering tuition. We will create educational opportunities for our underserved communities, and we will expand our university education infrastructure. We will forge new partnerships with community leaders and legislators, and we will design our innovative plans to grow and expand our campuses in Pomona and Lebanon. I absolutely am delighted to celebrate with you today our work to catapult our great university to further national and international acclaim and preeminence is before us. As new graduates, you recognize the critical global need for uniquely trained healthcare providers. You who possess a coveted and unique humanistic and compassionate skill set. You embody those ethos. You are now our ambassadors. The success of delivering the right product, your skills, and the right, at the right place at the right time for the first time and every time is what drives large career successes. As new ambassadors, the global community is ready for you and for your skills. This is your time. While writing my thesis uh, for my executive MBA program, I was impressed with an intriguing educational model described in a Harvard Business Review publication called the Goldilocks Principle or Effect, which aptly characterizes your career opportunities because of your truly unique training. The Goldilocks Principle is named by analogy to the children's story, The Three Bears, in which a young girl named Goldilocks tastes three different bowls of porridge and finds she prefers porridge that is neither too hot, too cold, but just right and just perfect. This concept can be applied aptly to you. This is just the right time to enter the healthcare global community with just the right skill set, your skill set of humanism, compassion, the individual patient, inclusive of the whole body, mind, and spirit. You bring a model of value-based care, patient-centered and individual-specific high-quality care that we know is the future. And it is, in fact, the future for you and your patients. You graduate from a young, yet very special university with a unique history. Please consider another analogy of the most glorious of oak trees that begins its life as a single acorn. The mighty oak is Western University of Health Sciences, and the acorn was the single osteopathic medical college with only a few students, faculty, and staff. The founding college has grown into the most comprehensive of graduate health sciences universities globally, with nine distinguished colleges that together and individually are unmatched and unparalleled, in my view. No graduate health sciences university can rival our unique model of colleges. However, we must grow and expand our infrastructure in order to keep pace with our growing educational demands and opportunities. Only 40 years ago, 31 graduates representing the inaugural class of the College of Osteopathic Medicine of the Pacific received their diplomas from this institution. In contrast, when our 2022 commencement exercises for all our colleges conclude, Western U will have awarded 
1,071 degrees, 35 times the number in the charter class. An extraordinary growth. You know, you know the feeling of satisfaction that comes from the completion of any critically impactful endeavor. Finally, it's done. I did it. All that hard work paid off. Even more important, imagine graduating with a coveted degree in a health science. I have earned my diploma. Even more exciting. This is the beginning of your career and a new exhilarating chapter in your lives. And countless more exciting chapters surely are yet to be written in your book of your career and in your life. You now are uniquely trained and highly technically proficient health professionals and humanistic and compassionate healers, true ambassadors of the coveted ethos and brand of Western U. You also are lifelong learners, ambassadors, leaders, and embracers of new experiences. That is why today we call commencement rather than conclusion. Please join me in a heartfelt congratulations to all of you for coming this far to this day. Thank you and congratulations. You are poised now for a new start. You are a beacon of promise. Your new journey beckons, one full of new challenges, new relationships, new locations to explore, and new opportunities abound. You are blessed, in my view, to have been equipped with these extraordinary tools for this new exciting journey on which you will be embarking. We must credit, also, the excellent faculty at Western U, all of whom have walked paths very much like yours. As we celebrate our graduates today, our esteemed graduates, so too should we celebrate our faculty, deans, leaders, stakeholders, for nowhere is there a group more dedicated to your academic and professional success. That I can assure you. These mentors and teachers have invested themselves in you, not only to ensure that you are technically superb and expert, but also to prepare you to embody the art of humanism, compassion, and equity as you lead by example and as you soar into your successful next chapter. High grades and scores are great achievements, but far more important to us, to the faculty, the deans, and leaders, is you and your greatest accomplishment of all, your precious and special identity, your humanistic values, the content of your character, your patience, compassion, collegiality, and forthrightness is critically important, just as your, it are your clinical know-how and technical mastery of your art. So please join me in celebrating your special identity, which you must never lose and which you must always retain and respect. Congratulations for that blessing of your identity. Please join me in a warm applause. It is the combination of these qualities, the superb technical skill coupled with humanism and character that really defines the very mission of our unique university and your future mission. Our faculty have lived this mission through all of their interactions with you in the classroom, in the clinical setting, but most of all through the examples they set as a highly capable humanistic and compassionate healthcare professional. I ask that you join me in acknowledging and honoring the excellence of our extraordinary faculty as they stand to be recognized. Please, faculty, if you could kindly stand, we would like to recognize your extraordinary commitment to education. Thank you. We also have a group of unsung heroes who are rarely recognized. This distinguished group of individuals works selflessly countless hours to shepherd the university. Would our esteemed Board of Trustees please stand to be recognized as well?
Thank you. In addition, we have an individual who is retiring, our extraordinary dean of the College of Dental Medicine. And I would very much be grateful also to recognize Dr. Stephen Fredrickson for his extraordinary service through countless years of dedication and of commitment to education and to you as individuals and to your future. Dr. Fredrickson, thank you. Class of 2022, what an amazing journey this has been for you. In what were seemingly insurmountable obstacles, you have prevailed. Beginning with the pandemic that kept most of you in class at home for the better part of two years, your clinical skill courses and adventure in the business of daily living, an endless sequence of challenges. But you persevered. Now you will not only have a diploma, but a great story to tell. Where was I when the great pandemic hit? Studying, of course, to be a health science professional. And congratulations for that achievement. Sufficient superlatives do not exist to adequately describe all of you for achieving the impossible, reaching this point against all odds. You made it. Kudos. And what a relief. But let's congratulate all of you now for that extraordinary achievement through this very difficult headwind and challenging times of adversity. Congratulations. In preparation for the remainder of our exciting ceremony, I wish to briefly describe the current commencement process. Nine colleges are presenting graduates this year, including two this morning. The College of Graduate Nursing and the College of Optometry will hold theirs here this afternoon the College of Podiatric Medicine, the College of Osteopathic Medicine of the Pacific, and the Graduate College of Biomedical Sciences, and the College of Health Sciences held their ceremonies here yesterday. And what a spectacular day it was indeed. The College of Veterinary Medicine will hold theirs in this hall on Friday. Comp Northwest will hold their commencement ceremony in Lebanon, Oregon on May 27th. That's an extraordinary series of commencement events, and that's what I'm talking about when I refer to our extraordinary college. There is no other university like ours. An important tradition is the presentation of a university lapel pin, that is, on the lapel of your uh, coats and gowns, to each graduate. The pins will be presented by our alumni representative, Dion Zanuga, Doctor of Pharmacy, Class of 2011. The pin is offered as a gift to the newest members of our alumni family and bears the university seal and the degree that the graduate has earned. We hope you will wear the pin often and with pride as ambassadors for Western U and for the health profession in general. I am honored now to share a few inspirational words with you today and also to highlight some of the specific accomplishments of our esteemed colleges. It has long since come to my attention that people of accomplishment rarely sat back and let things happen to them. They went out and made things happen. These are the words of Leonardo da Vinci, an Italian of the High Renaissance who was active as a scientist, sculptor, and an extraordinary futurist with an incredible vision. He very easily could have been referring to our esteemed class of 2022. You, the graduates, and your families and loved ones, when he made that statement more than five centuries ago. He astutely noted that truly accomplished individuals demonstrate relentless tenacity and dedication despite the adversities to which they are confronted you, our graduates of 2022, and your families and loved ones exemplify this definition of being truly accomplished. And therefore, let us congratulate you, but also let us congratulate the amazing 
families, the remarkable loved ones that are the wind beneath your wings and that have propelled you forward to this great day. Congratulations to those families and loved ones who have supported all of you. Let us congratulate them and recognize them. Despite the, the, the challenges, you did not permit yourselves to be negatively affected, but rather you persisted in your quest for higher education. And you never stopped your commitment to the Western U community and to the community at large. We know that. You adapted, you were flexible, you adjusted, you took a deep breath, and you forged forward. That's extraordinary. You embraced as pioneers, as educational, a new educational paradigm shift toward online didactics and on-hand simulation, a shift from in-class learning to online learning. You've made history in pioneering the emergence of a new model of higher education that currently is being adopted nationally. The truth is, you are doers, and you have made things happen, in Leonardo's words. We're on a first-name basis now. Over the challenging years that you have called Western U your home, and congratulations. The world has never been more ready to receive the skill set that only you can offer in your unique way. So please remain true to your identity, to that humanism, compassion, individual patient, the model of value-based care, as we alluded to earlier. You have chosen Western U for your education, and Western U has chosen you for your education, not a chance event but divine destiny, in my opinion. You were considered special when you began your training and education, and even more so now. You are now a part of an elite group of highly trained healthcare professional clinicians trained at Western U, uniquely prepared to serve the global community. It is your time. It's your time to celebrate. Let's hear it for the class of 2022. Please permit me to give you a small glimpse into the extraordinary accomplishments of what has happened in the colleges we honor this morning, thanks to the class of 2022's inspiration, initiative, and involvement. In the College of Dental Medicine, the DMD class of 2022 achieved a 100% pass rate on the National Dental Board examination for only the second time in college history. Extraordinary, amazing. The college not only sustained, but enhanced its efforts at cultivating a more diverse faculty and graduates, thanks to two additional HRSA awards and our continued support for the SHPP program and other pipeline activities that we so respect and love. The college successfully completed accreditation site visits for the DMD program and the Advanced Education in General Dentistry Residency program jointly delivered by Western U and NYU Langone. That's extraordinary. Given that their entire clinical training took place, that is yours, under significant restrictions associated with COVID, the class of 2022 cultivated remarkable degrees of resilience. That we know, you are resilient, you are adaptable, nimble, and that will be a valuable attribute in the future for your careers. Pharmacy and oral health are integral components of holistic healthcare, and Western U has equipped the class of 2022 to become exceptional practitioners as well as, as leaders in their respective professions. A warm congratulations to the graduates and to the college for these extraordinary accomplishments. Thank you. In our esteemed College of Pharmacy, the college received more than $10 million in funding 
from government, industry, and societal grants, with over half from go governmental funding. Not an easy task for any university in this country. The college has now more than 2,500 alumni who have gone on to excel in the field of pharmacy, many in leadership positions. The students in this distinguished college performed consistently well on state and national exams with the current number one ranking out of all California pharmacy schools. And lest we forget that COP faculty serve at the highest levels of state and national pharmacy and pharmaceutical science organizations, providing leadership to the profession. This outstanding level of leadership was especially critical during the pandemic, as you can imagine, when COP faculty, students, alumni oversaw the administration of more than half a million COVID vaccinations. That's amazing. So for both our esteemed colleges and graduates, we thank you. You are an inspiration. You show resilience. Such accomplishments, such creativity and versatility in the face of adversity and against all odds. Congratulations once again for these accomplishments to both colleges. These are reminiscent of the challenges faced by our institution itself at its formation 45 short years ago, and how those challenges were met by our founders and earliest students. The foundational tenets of the university that we know so well, humanism, equity, innovation, community engagement, always have prevailed through the years. Could an enduring educational entity be built upon these critically important values and tenets? That was the question then. The time has proved that the answer is a resounding yes, resilience. Indeed, the robust and sustainable vision of the founders and our founding tenants are more important now than ever and continue to echo in the corridors of time. Our campuses, students, faculty, staff, and alumni remain united around these principles. The mission endures. Yet with that belief, in our foundation and values and our proud history comes acknowledgement that we are at an inflection point. This is a transformative time for health sciences education and healthcare delivery and the maturity of our university itself. 45 years may seem like a long time, but in the life of a university, it presents, represents birth, childhood, and adolescence at the most. Our founding president, Dr. Phil Pomerantz, and the founding comp physicians shepherded the university through these stages with unbelievable energy, innovation, vision, and most of all, heart. It is now incumbent upon all of us in the Western U family, and you are a critical part of that family now, to take the next steps in our development. We are well positioned to expand the ethos and the brand and the footprint, footprint throughout the global community thanks in part to the pandemic, but to an even greater extent to the creativity and innovation of our beloved students, our faculty, our staff, and of course, your loved ones and families that supported you. We are shifting in the way we educate. We're embracing new technology, curricular flexibility to meet the needs of tomorrow's healthcare providers and patients. We seek fresh opportunity to engage our communities and it is now our time. We can and will together catapult our university to a position of greater prominence nationally and internationally by setting an ambitious trajectory shared and shaped by our mission, our message, our humanism, our history, and all of you will have an integral part. We are a university on the rise and we are aiming high. We are aiming high for you and for your careers. In 1981, one profoundly meaningful point in my life, I was sitting where you are now, graduating from medical school at the Royal College of Surgeons. The day was a swirl of thoughts and emotions, but one thing I remember clearly 
was how grateful I was for the opportunity before me. And what an honor and privilege to have saved the lives of countless patients. I give God the credit I just helped. Please permit me to underscore that final item. The item is never to compromise the quality of your patient care model for quantity of patient care. You already know how precious time can be. We've, we've been hearing this during the commencement, how precious we recognize time to be. It will become even more precious in the future. You will always be asked to do more with your time. Please never succumb to the pressure of providing quantity at the expense of quality of care. Your time is indeed precious, but no more precious than the time you have with each of your patients. No more precious than your capacity inside that time to improve their lives through your caring, your compassion, and counsel. That's humanism. You are all amazing, and we are Western U, and we believe in Western U's ethos. That's in our DNA. No doubt we will continue to do great things together. And so please take the time to celebrate today with your family and, and friends. Remar reflect on your journey and your accomplishments. And please congratulate yourselves and please allow us all to congratulate you because you so, so deserve it. Congratulations. And lastly, I wish to share with you, please know that you are always and always will be a part of this special educational enterprise. You are lifetime members of the Western U family. This is your time, our time, and a moment in time to embrace the words of Michelangelo, another acclaimed Renaissance sculpture from my hometown in Florence, Italy. Again, 500 years ago, it was a very uh, ins inspirational time. Your gifts lie in the place where your values, passions, and strengths meet. Discovering that place is the first step towards sculpting your masterpiece, which is your life and your career. Congratulations and Godspeed to the class of 2022. Congratulations, graduates. We've waited a long time to say that to you. Thank you, President Farias Eisner, Chair Zamora, and members of our Board of Trustees. And thank you, Dean Friedrichsen and Dean Prabhu, and all of your faculty and staff. This is such a special day of celebration for our graduates and a time of appreciation for all of our Western U community. My heartfelt welcome to all in our audience. I recall vividly my own graduation day, my family gathered together, my dad hooding me, memories I will always cherish. I never fail to feel hopeful and proud as I watch our graduates receive their diplomas each year. This year, it is even more personal. We have all been through a lot together since you first started at Western U, from once in a hundred year fires to a global pandemic. We have tackled tough social issues and worked for true global change. Your generation, you, have already changed the fundamental nature of our workplaces and our educational processes, and you will continue to do so. You are shaping the future. Take good care and shape it well. As you graduate today and celebrate this proud milestone, and prepare, you prepare to enter the front lines of a battle against diseases of all kinds, not just COVID-19. There will be new frontiers of science and knowledge for you to, to discover and learn from, new challenges to face and obstacles to overcome. In this world filled with division and wounds, you have the opportunity to serve and to heal. Indeed, it is one of your callings as a Western U graduate as you move forward and take your place in healthcare. Know that as you do so, we are very proud of you and we have great confidence in you. Also know, you will always have a place in our hearts and a home at Western U. 
You are entering a profession where you get to make an impact, one moment at a time, one patient at a time, one community at a time. You traversed those long days of study as you discovered the wonders of the human form and conquered each rite of passage. You learned how to drink from the proverbial fire hose as you navigated through all your courses and the layers of learning interwoven through them. Without realizing it, you were no longer that college student with a college student's mentality. You became part of something bigger as you began down the path of your serious, noble profession where everything you learn and everything you do has future implications. Graduates, we have been humbled frequently as we have watched you learn and grow, gain confidence, find your voices, and work so hard to get to where you are today. As you do your own reflection, remember those special individuals who helped you along the way, those that never gave up on you, who taught you those unforgettable hard-learned lessons, those that pushed you and believed in you. Treasure them and thank them. Never stop learning and never forget that you have the ability to make a difference and never stop caring nor stop trying to make your corner of the world a better place. Keep honing your expertise, your knowledge, and your skills. Never lose your humanity, your compassion, and your ability to care. As many of you have heard me say before, this world has never needed you more. I wish for all of you to be courageous, to be leaders in your communities, and always, always the champions of your patients. To be healers and seek wellness, not just to, seek, not just to treat disease. To be proud of your profession, to be proud of who you are, where you come from, and where you are going. To not only stand on the shoulders of the giants that came before you, but to become the giant yourself so that others may stand on your shoulders. Always strive for excellence and always keep your standards set high. Your patients will count on you for that. Your Western U education will serve you well. Never forget to care for your patients with purpose, passion, and skill, to use your head, hands, and your heart to listen and to care. And always remember, at the end of every action, every thought, every deed, there is your patient. Congratulations, class of 2022. Thank you, Provost Crone. Now, we get to the special portion of these exciting ceremonies in which we have the honor to present you with a diploma. And, and before we start, I just wanted you to recognize your two extraordinary deans. Dr. Pabu, is, where is he? There he is. Our deans are our are, are unsung heroes. What they do is extraordinary, and their dedication is extraordinary. This is a special event, as you've heard, because this is Dr. Fredrickson's retirement year, and, and we will miss him, and we appreciate all that he's done. Without further ado, we will start with the College of Dental Medicine. Will the candidates for the degree of Doctor of Dental Medicine please rise and stand in place? <laughs> Mr. President, the assembled candidates have met all the requirements for graduation and have been recommended by the faculty for the degree Doctor of Dental Medicine. It is my great pleasure to present them to you. Thank you, Dean Fredrickson. Graduates, by the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon you, as you individually present yourselves, the degree of Doctor of Dental Medicine with all the rights, honors, and privileges appertaining thereto. Will the graduates please come forth 
to the stage. Thank you. Dr. Byung Chan On. Dr. Mustafa Al Bayati. Dr. Puya Ansari. Dr. Arusha Bhatia. Dr. Arlene Canchola. Dr. Leslie Vanessa Carillo. Dr. Lauren Elizabeth Chen. Dr. Alice Chang. Dr. Chi Hua Chen. Dr. Natalie Ann Cronin. Dr. Ellen Joy Lopez Cruz. Yes, Dr. Aham Deshan. Dr. Chelsea Misha, Director. Dr. Nui Tai Do. Dr. Monica Avila Duarte. Dr. Stephanie Keiko Fukawa. Dr. Vanessa Garcia. Dr. Fibronia Mika Georges.
Dr. Farin Godil. Dr. Denise Gomez. <laughs> Dr. Tuyet Ni Ha. Dr. Antoine Hafar. <laughs> Dr. Maryam Majid Hamid. Dr. Sara Kasmai Hosseini. <laughs> Dr. Luisito Huang Chen. Dr. Tiffany Sui-Shen Hong. <laughs> Dr. Tiffany T. Huynh. Vivi, apologies. Dr. Vivian T. Huynh. Dr. Hijret Islamoulu. <laughs> Dr. Ariel Rose Juarez. Dr. Ethan Richard Just. <laughs> Dr. Sepide Kafia Basabadi. Dr. Preet Kamal Kaur. <laughs> Dr. Ripsame Kazkakian. Dr. Jane Young Kim. <laughs> Dr. Andrew Sanghui Lee.
Dr. Jessica Chantal Leonard. Dr. Chiara Cecilia Lewis. <laughs> Dr. Anthony Lee Long. Dr. Brian Min Luong. <laughs> Dr. Elise Rebecca Liu. Dr. Yusuf Mazin Mazi. <laughs> Dr. Jem Maneche. Dr. Ryan Nasimi. <laughs> Dr. Christopher Nguyen. Dr. Hui Kim Nui. <laughs> Dr. Peter Fong Nguyen. Dr. Tuan Min Nguyen. <laughs> Dr. Justin Shoryu Ogawa. Dr. Brian Park. <laughs> Dr. Caleb David Perry. Dr. Hamza Makbul Patel. <laughs> Dr. Himali Patel.
Dr. Tanusha Pratham Kumar Patel. Dr. Seema Reshmi Prakash. Dr. Amanda Marie Pustinen. Dr. Selena Crystal Payun. <laughs> Dr. Jocelyn Araceli Ruelas Castillo. Dr. Brittany Lauren Self. <laughs> Dr. Philip Arnell Miklat Tigatak. Dr. Hani Katham Tajsar. <laughs> Dr. Javier M. Tapia. Dr. Andy Tofik. <laughs> Dr. Trey Riccio Tallman. Dr. Alexander Tran. <laughs> Dr. AJ Varghese. Dr. Andrea Maria Vasquez. <laughs> Dr. Steven Victor Velasco. Dr. Jacob Ross Westhorpe. <laughs> Dr. Joanna Juhi Wang.
Dr. Eric Shalkit Wong. Dr. Michael Jae-hoon Yu. <laughs> Dr. Andrew Blake Zufall. I will now ask Dean Prabhu to come forward as he presents the College of Pharmacy. Will the candidates for the degree of Master of Science in Pharmaceutical Sciences please rise and stand in place. Mr. President, the assembled candidates have met the requirements for graduation and have been recommended by the faculty for the degree of Master of Science in Pharmaceutical Sciences. It is my pleasure to present them to you. Thank you, Dean Prabhu. Graduates, by the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon you as you individually present yourselves the degree of Master of Science in Pharmaceutical Sciences, with all the rights, honors, and privileges appertaining thereto. Will the graduates please come to the stage? Young Deanna Choi. Matthew Chandler Company in absentia. Elizabeth Catherine Garcia. Asif Iqbal. <laughs> Arenige Ariola Oyebisen. Chin Mei Sen. The first Doctor of Pharmacy degree to be conferred today in the College of Pharmacy is the posthumous degree to Sri Priya Upadayula Patel. Priya would have crossed this stage next year with the class of 2023 to receive her PharmD degree. For those of you who did, didn't know Priya, she was an incredible human being, a high achiever who had a passion and deep love for the pharmacy profession, advocating on its behalf constantly. She was a peer mentor to her fellow classmates, a curious knowledge seeker to her teachers, 
and an all-around kind person with a huge heart. An avid lover of animals, always trying to rescue the unfortunate ones, Priya touched every soul she met along her journey. We'll never forget her beautiful spirit, ready smile, and genuine bear hugs. We're proud to present her diploma, along with her graduate hood, to her family, Rinal and Rahi, Priya's husband and daughter, as well as Sajata, Ramesh, and Sai, Priya's mother, father, and brother. Congratulations to Priya and her family on earning this degree. I would now invite the members of her family to come up on stage to receive the degree on her behalf. Will the candidates for the degree of Doctor of Pharmacy please rise and stand in place? <laughs> Mr. President, the assembled candidates have met the requirements for graduation and have been recommended by the faculty for the degree of Doctor of Pharmacy. It is my pleasure to present them to you. Thank you, Dean Prabhu. Graduates, by the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon you, as you individually present yourselves, the degree of Doctor of Pharmacy, which all, with all the rights, honors, and privileges appertaining thereto. Will the graduates please come to the stage? Dr. Taylor Renee Ackling. Dr. Maria Agazarian. Dr. Kubarat Ajua Ajiman Bochi. Dr. Esther Ahn. Dr. Rayane Alavizade.
Dr. Jonathan Andrew Ang. Dr. Melanie Avanesian. Dr. Lynn Sendar A. Dr. Paul S. Bay. Dr. Ajoa Beidou Williams. Dr. Haman Paul Singh Baines. Dr. Roselle Ann Palingping Baki. Dr. Stephanie Jill Antonio Bandera. Dr. Naomi Nock Bon. Dr. Nathania Noel Barrios. Dr. Julie Rose Beecham. Dr. Celia Plyside Boone. Dr. Varun Bonanigrian. Dr. Patricia Carmela Hamoro Mugirin. Dr. Victoria Cecilia Carpio Mira. Dr. Joseph Anthony Versosa Castro. Dr. Nidapum Chayakam. Dr. Jordy Mars Chin. Dr. Priscilla Matilde Kwan. Dr. Anthony Jerome Solomon Keeson. Dr. Anish Rajan Dalal. Dr. An Dang.
Dr. Tri Wok Dang. Dr. Jennifer Dow. Dr. Vina Jo Marie Valdemeres de Vera. Dr. Emily Duong. Dr. Marwa Nabil Abbas Badli Alabadi. <laughs> Dr. Melissa June Freiling. Dr. Malav Gandhi. <laughs> Dr. Philip Gao. Dr. Stella Nguyen G. Dr. Anu George. Dr. Ada Belen Gutierrez. <laughs> Dr. Alberto Guzman. Dr. Stephen Kwok Leung Ho. <laughs> Dr. John Len Kwok Wong. <laughs> Dr. Jennifer Hong. Dr. Waverly Chunyun Sal. <laughs> Dr. Anna Huynh. Dr. Pick Kim In. <laughs> Dr. Irene Annette Esmalian in absentia. <laughs> Dr. Rupinder Kaur. Dr. Simranpreet Kaur. <laughs> Dr.
Dr. Andy Chow Kung. Dr. Eric Karanja Kibiru. Dr. Kakako Keener in absentia. Dr. Heidi Sung Yoon Kim. Dr. Heju Kim. Dr. Jenny Kyung Kim. Dr. Sora Kim. Dr. Kelly Ann Kirtland. <laughs> Dr. Sua Kwan. <laughs> Dr. Haley Lamb. Dr. Fung T. Lam. <laughs> Dr. Trong Wook Lam. <laughs> Dr. Crystal Tiffany Lau. Dr. Diane Khan Lay. <laughs> Dr. Tram On Win Lee. <laughs> Dr. Scott K. Lee. Dr. Semi Lee. <laughs> Dr. Stephanie Lee. Dr. Janice Chishan Lerm. <laughs> Dr. Jeffrey Lin.
Dr. Yao Lin. Dr. Janae Rebecca Lindstrom. Dr. David Liu. Dr. Chuli Liu. Dr. Jonathan Choi Man Cheng Lo. Dr. Mallory Liu. Dr. Jaslyn Mariah Lum. Dr. Jamie Na Luong. Dr. Vivian Nguyen Liu. <laughs> Dr. Tracy Lee. <laughs> Dr. Kevin Mencia. Dr. Michaela Wokaberte Mandapat. Dr. Bruno Daniel Martinez. Dr. Kenneth Paul. Tira Tira Mata. <laughs> Dr. Milan Mokhtar. <laughs> Dr. Ahmed Ataib Asidi Sayyid Mohammed. Dr. Susana Morales. <laughs> Dr. Monica Nicole Morris. Dr. Carmi Alonzo Morrow. <laughs> Dr. Monica Mary Moza. Dr. Jonah Eugene Munoz.
Dr. Miriam Ahmed Nasser. Dr. Christopher Anil Nair in absentia. Dr. Teresa Ellen Nersesian. Dr. Aiden Kang Nguyen. Dr. Heidi T. Wynn. Dr. Kayla Nock Wynn. Dr. Amanda Nori. Dr. Cindy Hermine Orfali. Dr. Sarin Orfalian. Dr. Kevin Parsamayan. Dr. Nishma Pratesh Patel. Dr. Jacqueline Jade Powell. Dr. Tawheed Rockman. Dr. Diana Maher Roman. Dr. Shahad Allah Sadiq Saadi. Dr. Brandon Allen Sines. Dr. Lilit Sargisian. Dr. Arsene Samoyan. Dr. An Nak Su. Dr. Gabriel Jessica Zablowski. Dr. Isabella Marie Tabirara. Dr. Valerie Marie Tamayo.
Dr. Crystal Lee Tettenhorst. Dr. Dai Khan Tai. Dr. Ivy Tao Nguyen Tan. Dr. Ivy Tao Tran. Dr. Christine Lee Tran. Dr. Michael Tai Tran. Dr. Mi V Tran. Dr. Rini Nguyen Tran. Dr. Tu On Tran. Dr. E. New Tran. Dr. Debbie Trong. Dr. Jenny Tram On Trong. Dr. Trevor Tweedy. Dr. Catherine Wong. Dr. Michael Garrett, Venezuela. <laughs> Dr. Ronell Vincent Caresma, Venezuela. <laughs> Dr. Kim Tian Wong. Dr. Chelsea Nicole White. Dr. Jia Yu Wong. Dr. Shun Shun Wu. Dr. Howard Shan Chao Yang. <laughs> Dr. Volha Yaroshenka.
Dr. Sung Hee Yu. It is my honor and pleasure to introduce Brent Fung, DDS, Associate Dean for Patient Care and Clinical Education, Associate Professor, Dental Medicine, who will administer the dentist's pledge. I'd invite the members of the audience and faculty with dental degrees who wish to participate in the dentist's pledge to stand with Dr. Fung in this class. Would the new doctors of dental medicine please rise? Thank you, Dean Fredrickson. Would you please raise your right hand and read along with me? As a member of the dental profession, I shall keep this pledge and these stipulations. I understand and accept that my primary responsibility is to my patients, and I shall dedicate myself to render to the best of my ability, the highest standard of oral health care, and to maintain a relationship of respect and confidence. Therefore, let all come to me safe in the knowledge that their total health and well-being are my first consideration. I shall accept the responsibility that, as a professional, my competence rests on continuing the attainment of knowledge and skill in the arts and sciences of dentistry. I acknowledge my obligation to support and sustain the honor and integrity of the profession and to conduct myself in all endeavors such that I shall merit the respect of patients, colleagues, and my community. I further commit myself to the betterment of my community for the benefit of all society. I shall faithfully observe the principles of ethics and code of conduct of professional conduct set forth by the profession. All this I pledge with pride in my commitment to the profession and the public which it serves. Please be seated. I have the pleasure to introduce Emmanuel Schwarzman, PharmD, Director, Residency and Fellowship Training, and Professor, Pharmacy Practice and Administration, who will administer the pharmacist's oath. And I invite the pharmacists in the audience and those on the platform who wish to renew their oath to stand with Dr. Schwarzman and this class. Would the new doctors of pharmacy please rise? Thank you, Dean Prabhu. Please turn to page 64 and read along with me and raise your right arm, hand. I promise to devote myself to a lifetime of service to others through the profession of pharmacy. In fulfilling this vow, I will consider the welfare of humanity and relief of suffering my primary concerns. I will pro promote inclusion, embrace diversity, and advocate for justice to advance health equity. I will apply my knowledge, experience, and skills to the best of my ability to assure optimal outcomes for my patients. I will respect and protect all personal and health information entrusted to me. 
I will accept the responsibility to improve my professional knowledge, expertise, and self-awareness. I will hold myself and my colleagues to the highest principles of our profession's moral, ethical, and legal conduct. I will embrace and advocate changes that improve patient care. I will utilize my knowledge, skills, experiences, and values to prepare the next generation of pharmacists. I take these vows voluntarily with the full realization of the responsibility with which I'm entrusted by the public. Congratulations. Please be seated. It is a pleasure to introduce Dion Zuniga, class of 2011. She is a bilingual pharmacist at Optum Rx in Carlsbad, California. She'll bring a welcome from the Western New Alumni Association. Dr. Zuniga. Good morning. My name is Dion Zuniga. Doctor of Pharmacy, class of 2011, and I am currently serving my second year as co-chair of the Alumni Program and Events Committee. Dear graduates, your resiliency has been tested. You faced numerous challenges on your educational journey here at Western U that a majority of us alumni were never faced with. You had to be extremely flexible and trust. There is really no comparison between the student experience that we had in relation to what you had to go through. So bravo, I say to you. Welcome to the commencement, the beginning of your professional journey and your alumni status here at Western U. Your diligence, persistence, and determination will assist you on your professional path. Even though your education has prepared you for your professional career, as so many of us alumni have experienced, you may encounter a fork in the road and will have to make sound decisions on which path of that bifurcation you should run towards. Ethical decision-making will be part of your daily lives. Integrity, responsibility, and other core values were instilled in you as a student here at Western U. And those same core values will be reflected in the sound decisions that you will make as a professional in your field. If you're the first in your family to obtain a professional degree, or even if you happen to be one of several graduates in your family with a professional degree, always remember that you have your fellow alumni to whom you can reach out. The Alumni Association creates events that are great networking opportunities for you. Your professors, some of whom are also Western U alumni, are also at the ready to assist you with professional advice. Now, some of you may not even remember this super duper awesome speech because the emotions that you are feeling, whether it's relief, happiness, those emotions are overpowering because you are done. <laughs> somewhat, somewhat, somewhat. There will always be continuing education. The learning component will not end, but it is the end of your preliminary learning here at Western U. This is the end of your consecutive time here. And I say consecutive time because we are hoping that you will come back, as so many alumni have, to teach or to precept or to speak about your professional experiences. Lastly, as alumni of Western U, you will be representing the university in every single decision you make. 
so make us proud. It is now my pleasure to officially welcome you as alumni of Western University of Health Sciences. Will the members of the class of 2022 please rise? To signify your accomplishments and your change in status from students to alumni, please move your tassel from the right side of your cap to the left, placing it above your heart. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh. The other one? Congre oh. <laughs> Neither. Hello? Okay, I'll just say it loud. Congratulations and welcome to Western United <laughs> Western U Alumni Association. Please be seated. <laughs> Greetings, doctors of dental medicine, doctors of pharmacy, and masters of pharmaceutical sciences. Congratulations on the completion of your degrees. For those in the College of Dental Medicine, you've probably seen and heard the tagline, CDM Forward Together, a few hundred times, including the 107 Friday messages I've sent over the past 26 months since the beginning of the pandemic. At this point, you probably look forward to a weekend without one of those emails. So today, for one last time, I'd like to reframe those three words into my message for you as you head out into the world that has changed dramatically since the day you first set foot on the campus at Western U. None of us can deny that the pace of change has quickened and will continue to provide us with challenges and opportunities in the future. First, CDM. Now, it's not really a word. It's actually one of those famous three-letter acronyms that are everywhere at Western U stands for the College of Dental Medicine, and it's in essence our college's branding. It means something within the college, at Western U at the university, at the California Dental Association, nationally at the American Dental Education Association, and the American Dental, Associ American dental Education Association, and now ADA, the American Dental Association. As an alum of CDM, your college is associated with three C's, Competent, caring, and compassionate. Those are the words we hear most frequently when people tell us what they think of you as our alums. It should come as no surprise, but your faculty and I consider those to be the highest compliments and indicators that we are doing what we need to do. As you go out into the world, you need to add to that brand to make it your own. Hopefully you'll retain the three C's, but also put your own spin on it. How will people in the community know and recognize you. As you recall from our first lecture in practice management, you will become the CEO of your own personal brand. And hopefully you build a brand with purpose and care. Every patient you treat, every social media post, every community interaction will build your brand as a Western U alum. I have no doubt that you'll make us proud. Your brand started with the three letters CDM but now it becomes Y-O-U. Second word, forward. There's a natural tendency in health sciences, especially ones as precise as dentistry and pharmacy, to look for predictability and build success on past performance. This can, in some cases, lead to stasis. It's critically necessary to continue to move our professions forward, to innovate, 
to improve upon what we have done and to make them better. Up until now, your faculty and leaders have been responsible for that forward momentum. As of today, you are responsible for moving yourself, your practice, your specialty, and your profession forward. At yesterday's hooding, we reminded you all of the goal to cultivate you as leaders. Your faculty have displayed their astute leadership in moving us forward, even in the most unusual circumstances of the pandemic. When you weigh the tendency to not move versus chal the challenge of moving forward, hopefully you will choose the challenge that advances you and yourself moving forward. The last word together. Healthcare and healthcare education are team sports. Each and every member of the college, faculty, staff, students, or leadership have a role to play. It will be the same with your careers. We have demonstrated to you how to work efficiently as a team and effectively as a team. Now it's your turn to build a team that works on behalf of your brand and to sustain your forward momentum. There's an African proverb, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. So together includes your personal support team of family, of spouses, significant others, siblings, relatives, and friends. Don't forget to think of them and value their contributions to your success. CDM, forward together. They are only three little words, perhaps overused words, but they can be the key to a successful future if you give them new meaning and embrace them as a way for you to continue to achieve a most successful future. On behalf of your faculty, staff, and the college leadership team, we wish you all the best and ask that you not only continue to move CDM forward together, but that you also move yourselves forward together as the DMD class of 22, the best class ever. Thank you. Thank you all for being here today. Graduates of the class of 2022, you've done it. What a momentous occasion this is as I look across this great hall to our students who eagerly received their well-earned degrees and their family and loved ones who waited in joyous anticipation as their graduate walked across the stage. To those parents and loved ones, I say this is a new beginning for your graduate as they start their journeys on the next phase of their lives. Let me tell you that this group is very special because they have not only endured a grueling curriculum during the pandemic, but have gained tremendous amount of real life experiences fighting in the front lines to keep us safe from it. I'm proud to state that all my vaccinations were from my own students some of whom are sitting in this audience, for which, for which I'm grateful because it kept me safe despite a recent bout with COVID. So today it's about them, our graduates. My heartiest congratulations to all of you. To our Doctor of Pharmacy students, I ask that you always remember that your patients trust you to keep them safe, healthy, and happy at all times safe from harmful side effects of medicines, healthy from the treatment you provide, and happy from your selfless service towards their betterment. Thus, you have a purpose and a path that is clear on what you need to do after today. To our Master of Science in Pharmaceutical Sciences students, I say that you've endured an intensive curriculum in education and research for the last two years. If this were a research-free world, we would not have the tools in our arsenal to fight this current scourge. So be proud of the fact that your background now allows you to someday become a pioneer of the next big finding that will one day save the world. Regardless of the program you're graduating from today, always remember that it has been a team effort, wherein your faculty and staff have spent endless hours in the background to bring you up to this point. They have indeed given you the knowledge and skills you will need to succeed in your life, and for that we owe them a great sense of gratitude. These past two years have taught us a lot. 
As we continue to be in the front lines, it is quite a proud moment when you know that 70% of COVID-19 vaccines were administered by pharmacists in our country. But this is also the time to stand united as a singular strong voice, fight for a seat at the table, or better yet, as President Obama once said, fight for your seat at the head of the table. Show the world what pharmacists can do and how we are changing the world. You're now the brand ambassadors of your profession, charting a path for generations behind you to be excited in the profession you have chosen and create new opportunities for them. As you graduate today, I entrust this charge to you. Before I close, I just want to bring to your attention a few items of a special and personal nature. For the first time ever in our history of our college, we now have a mother and son who are or will be graduates of the College of Pharmacy today. This definitely tells you that we have come a long way, and I'm proud to state that I was there for both of their graduations, years apart. Congratulations to Kevin and his mom, Haikui Parsamyan. For the first time in recent history of our college, we have a student in this class who, through her passion to serve our country, will soon join as a naval officer in the Navy Medical Services Corps. She's truly an inspiration for future generations of students who want to do the same. Congratulations, Ivy Tan. 2022 also marks my first commencement ceremony as dean. As I complete 26 years of service at this university, I'm proud and honored to be completing my first year as the fourth dean of this great college. I'm also humbled to have been given the opportunity to lead the class of 2022 to its commencement today. And finally, let me just say that from here on out, wherever your path takes you, remember that you will all forever be a part of Western New College of Pharmacy family a proud alum who, as you climb the ladders of success, will always remember where you came from. Believe in Mahatma Gandhi's words of wisdom, and I'll paraphrase, just be the change. On behalf of your beloved College of Pharmacy, you have my best wishes for the future. Congratulations once again, Western New Proud. Thank you. Thank you, deans. Beautiful. That was extraordinary. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the graduates of 2022. Such a remarkable ev event. Congratulations again to each and every one of you. I confess I am deeply moved as I see so many of your family members and friends and loved ones, and we certainly hear from them as well. We're gathered here today to support you and that they have done well. During the presidential search process for me, one hugely appealing Western U characteristic was the tremendous sense of community. Founding President Phil created a great sense of welcome, and he did this with the comp individual physicians as well. But that warmth and family four decades ago lives on today. A primary focus for me as the third president is to nurture that wonderful feeling of warmth and inclusivity, and in so doing, convey a sense of extended family to everyone at Western U. And that, of course, is a fitting time to include you in this extended family now as new alum. Our Oregon and California campuses are more than just an elite graduate college of higher education, but a second home in which we are all treated with empathy and compassion that is accorded to family members. That sense of family must endure as we grow and as we build upon this coveted legacy. I definitely ascribe to the philosophy that we've heard about. The life is a team effort. And as you proceed forward, the team goes further. Think of the extraordinary individual effort and sacrifice that each and every one of you has endured to arrive at this point today. The sleep deprivation, the missed parties, the missed movies, and yet you've never been alone. 
We each have those special someones who we can count on and who can count on us in challenging times. We are a guiding light for someone, a steadying hand when they stumble, a keeper of confidences in good times and bad, and someone may be all those things for us as well. A team effort indeed. We are blessed to be surrounded by people who care for us, whose hands applaud our success, and whose shoulders will comfort us in difficult times, and those who have made sacrifices for us to ensure our success. For years, your years of study have included highs and lows, and your family, those who have raised you and been by your side, loved ones that have supported your choice for Western U and rode the highs and lows with you, those are your team. Let us credit those loved ones today. I ask that your teams, whether husbands, wives, children, the significant others, parents, grandparents, special friends here today, please rise. Rise and be acknowledged. Rise and let these graduates, these esteemed graduates, all of us, show our sincere appreciation and gratitude for what you have done. Thank you. I'm excited about your future, excited about what you will accomplish, and concurrently, the resources and immense talent already inside the university, we are here to support you. Excited about the even greater heights we will reach together as our support impact and influ influence grows together. I see limitless possibilities for you and our university, I see endless opportunities to which we can serve our communities. I see infinite opportunities in which we can expand the depth and breadth of our mission together. I see countless opportunities in which we can transform the face of health sciences, education, and quality of clinical care. But most of all, I'm honored and privileged and humbled today to be among you and Western U extended family and to be one of your colleagues and servant leaders. You are our new ambassadors, forever a member of the family. And you are the bright beacon of light that represents the future of the university. All of you now proudly carry the Western U flag of humanism and compassion and care into your endeavors. Now, more than ever, you possess, possess the skill sets to make a profound and meaningful difference in the world and to positively impact the health care of our communities globally. In essence, you have accepted a higher calling, the care of patients. No value can be placed on your capacity and willingness to care and serve your patients. In the words of Francis of Assisi, when you leave this earth, you can take nothing that you have received, but only what you have given, a full heart enriched by honest service, love, sacrifice, and courage. Again, Hearty congratulations to the class of 2022. Please acknowledge that before we close the ceremony. Congratulations to all of you. With this, I declare these amazing commencement exercise closed. Thank you, God bless, and God speed. Distinguished guests, this concludes our commencement ceremony. For those who are able, please stand and remain at your seat until the faculty and graduates have exited the lobby. For the safety of all, it is essential the, aisle, the aisles are kept clear during the recessional. Commencement assistants will inform you when it is clear for you to exit the auditorium. Thank you.